non-typical ways of getting in and out of horizontal planes. And yes, that's right, it's at beginner level. Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, bringing you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, I am giving you a combo tutorial based upon the uh, flow that I put out a couple weeks ago in my capital flow video. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. So I am trying out a little bit of an experiment. Now, um, I've been doing a thing for a little while now of uh, giving y'all combos that are based upon the flow videos that I put out. Generally speaking, I try to work in one or two combos that I've kind of been working on and practicing and everything uh, just because they make for a good kind of you know road marker and everything to go through as I'm getting my flow on but more than that uh, they also represent a good opportunity for me to be able to teach some of y'all out there how exactly I'm doing the things that I'm doing with my poi and everything so I haven't really had a plan for how that would work and this time around I'm going to be giving you three tutorials back to back, a beginner, intermediate and advanced combo based upon some of the stuff that I'm showing off in that video. So for this first video we're going to be covering a beginner combo based upon some of the plane changing stuff that I was doing in that video and yes this is another one of those combos where you actually only need to know how to do two tricks in order to get it down. We'll talk a little bit more about some of the other techniques that you need but for all intents and purposes it's only two tricks. Those two tricks are how to do isolated throws as well as how to do corkscrews. If you know both of those things then you should be golden to at least start working on this combo. We'll talk a little bit about some of the techniques that uh, we also explore in the course of this and everything but as far as actual tricks those are the only two. I'll go ahead and link to tutorials for both of these tricks down in the description as well as up in the cards if you're watching this video on YouTube. I'll show you the combo at full speed and then take you through it piece by piece before showing it to you again in slow motion. All right, so the first thing you really need to understand about this combo is that it is my attempt to kind of use body movement in order to start horizontal plane moves. Uh, a lot of y'all out there will note that I'm a big fan of playing around with both corkscrews as well as horizontal plane flowers and everything, right? Uh, clearly, this is a combo that utilizes both. Uh, but I wanted to get in and out of them in some non-conventional ways. Of course, you know, my conventional way of doing this is just to do it out of like a zero point that is like a stall or what have you. And uh, this combo doesn't have any of those. So uh, it's worth thinking about how I'm trying to position this in terms of how can we switch momentum between horizontal and vertical planes, right? So we're going to start off this combo by just spinning our poi reverse split time same direction in wheel plane here. And we're going to go ahead and do a little isolated throw, but we're going to do an isolated throw that happens in a horizontal plane right here. Uh, this of course is one of those throws that like you could imagine that you're kind of like just barely releasing the poi to let it hang in midair for a second before you catch it once again. But instead of just letting it hang in midair, instead you're going to kind of flick it around to the side, you know? Uh, this is what's going to create that lovely little horizontal plane spin that it does and it should come back around to your waiting hand. Now the trick here is whenever you catch a poi that is doing one of these uh, horizontal plane spins and everything, well and any isolated throw in general actually, is that there's this moment right here when you catch it when basically the poi can either fall into like a pendulum or you can get it spinning around your hand. It basically reverses the direction of the poi, right? Right? So as that's happening, you're going to be stepping forward. You're not going to be like catching the poi behind your back or any such nonsense, but what you are going to be doing is as you step forward, you're going to let that poi kind of wrap around your back. And the kind of elastic tension that that creates is going to be what allows the poi to come out in a horizontal plane and you're going to be moving that above your head. What the other poi is going to be doing is as you make that catch, 
you're literally just kind of like letting it uh, glide out in front of you in a pendulum. You're just taking away the momentum of the poi such that it's kind of hanging out and everything. And then as you do that thing where you let the poi wrap around your body, you kind of let your arms separate out into that uh, corkscrew that we need to get to secondly, right? So that winds up bing, you do the toss, you take the step forward, and as you, you notice how like I've kind of switched up so that my back is now facing the camera and everything, I'm gonna kind of unwind both my body and my poi, and I'm gonna bring my hands above my head in a corkscrew before coming around to face the camera once again. Now you'll note I'm doing a four beat corkscrew there. You don't have to. You can just as easily take this from a place where you're doing a regular corkscrew and it will work just as well. But the long and short of it is that you're basically looking for this moment boom, where the poi are kind of like out at opposite ends and everything. You've got your right hand poi that is wrapped behind you and your left hand poi that's in front of you. You're facing away from the camera and everything. And all you do is twist around your body to face the front again and bring your hands up as you do so. If you do that, it will automatically bring the poi into a horizontal plane. And depending on how fast you do that, it can either be kind of a slow, languid trip on the way up, or it could be a quick, fast trip on the way up that uh, makes the poi have a little bit more tension on the tether. This part's totally up to you. Okay, so we got to the corkscrew and it was lovely, or if you're me, you're doing it as a four beat corkscrew, it doesn't really matter. But the long and short of it is, is that after you take it up and you take it down, you are using this as an excuse to kind of move around with it and everything. As I go up, I'm walking around. As I go down, I'm walking around. And after I go down, I'm letting the poi split it off into doing horizontal flowers. All this means is that I'm keeping my hands above my shoulder level and I'm continuing to spin the poi in split time same direction. So it's like the planets orbiting around me and everything, right? As I go around and do this, I do circles both above and below my shoulders. And what I really want to do is kind of let the poi just kind of settle down, uh, like pointing down and everything. So I think, Beat above, beat below, and then we come to a rest as you're spinning your body, right? Okay, so now we're gonna take that elastic tension that we use to get back and forth between the throw and uh, the corkscrew. We're gonna use this again. That is, I'm going to real quickly do a little shuffle step and get my left foot reaching behind my right foot. And I'm gonna go ahead and untwist my body. And as I do so, I'm gonna take the poi around for a ride. And once again, they're gonna wind up in a horizontal plane. So think of it as being that you separate out your arms and you bring them to the ground and then you twist up your body and untwisting your body brings those poi back around. Uh, you can do as many times around as you want to in that horizontal flower, but then you're gonna go ahead and let the poi come to a rest facing back towards the camera, yeah? So we basically have two places where we're using the act of like uh, kind of creating tension in our body and releasing it to take the poi into a horizontal plane. Once it is coming off of a throw and the second time it is just coming off of the steps that we're taking with our body to twist ourselves up and everything, yeah? So from the top, I start off with my poi spinning in split time, same direction, and I do the isolated throw. I take my step forward. That takes me around to my corkscrew. I go around to my flowers. Boom, I come to a stop, and then I make that step. I untwist, come out, do a few more horizontal flowers, and let those poi come to a rest next to me. Awesome. Let's see that again in slow-mo. So I know these are not our typical transitions in and out of horizontal planes, but I personally like them. And I also like that this is a combo that I think like looks particularly lovely and eats up a lot of space and incorporates a lot of dance into it. While at the same time, it only really utilizes two poi tricks overall. So I think everybody wins there, right? Um, 
Show me your version of this combo, please. Post a video of yourself doing it to Instagram and uh, use the hashtag DrexFactorPoi so I can see it and check out your hard work. Uh, if you would like, you can also post video of yourself doing this combo to your Instagram stories and make sure to tag me. I am at DrexFactor on Instagram. I will go ahead and make a copy of your video to post into my own stories so that all of my followers can see your hard work. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe to help other people find this video and be able to learn how to poi dance themselves. And of course, a huge thank you because this video would not be possible without the kind contributions of these amazing folks right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon, and like the other Patreon supporters who are listed down in the description of this video, they make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. If you would like to sign up to support this work, which I would greatly appreciate, but I totally understand if you don't have the means, but if you do, head on over to Patreon dot com slash directsfactorpoi and sign up. You can get early access to all of my content as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future. Plus some interesting behind the scenes stuff and uh, some extra content gets uploaded there on occasion too. So go check that out. Please and thank you. So what are some of your favorite ways to get in and out of horizontal planes? Clearly that has been a big theme of my work in the past year and everything, but I'm kind of curious if y'all have solutions out there that I haven't thought of or that would be their own unique kind of creative and everything. Let me know. Down in the comments, share videos of yourselves uh, doing your own version of getting into horizontal planes, and uh, please uh, show me your version of this combo. Thanks so much for watching, and I will uh, see you all next week. Have a good one. Peace.